Welcome back guys. Today we are going to discuss about the sedimentation theory and that sedimentation theory is Stokes law. So sedimentation or sedimentum, the meaning of sedimentum is is settling down. Sedimentum in Latin means settling okay or sinking down okay so obviously with the meaning itself you're you're able to identify what is about the sedimentation theory and say, Stokes law okay so the rate of sedimentation okay the rate of sedimentation is nothing but the the the, the rate at which the particle settle down settles down settles down in a beaker let's say this is a be this is a test tube okay and and if this is water okay and this is water let's assume this is water and if you leave a particle here obviously this particle will settle down settle down either you know at some point it will reach the bottom right so so it is moving from one point to another point so there is a difference in the distance so this difference in the distance with respect to the time so to reach this bottom it will take some time right obviously it will take some time so there is a time difference so that gives us the velocity the rate at which the particle is settling down to the bottom so that gives us information about the sedimentation so how sedimentation how do you you know accurately calculate the sedimentation rate okay so we have to look into Stokes law for that so the velocity or the rate at which uh, the particle settle down in a medium so this water is a medium here so here this water is a medium is, is directly proportional to the diameter of the particle the diameter square of the particle let's see how okay so for example this particle has a diameter of 10 centimeters and this particle has a diameter of it's a 5 centimeters okay this is 10 centimeters and this is 5 centimeters obviously which particle do you think will settle at a faster rate so obviously this particle will settle at a faster rate right compared to this particle okay so now also let's take a look at the density difference for example let's assume this is an oily particle oily droplet or it can be oily drop oil drop or some oily particle oil particle okay okay so when you place an oil droplet on water so what happens because the density of water is higher than the density of oil so the oil will just simply float on top of the water right it will not settle so that means the sedimentation the rate of sedimentation is is proportional to the density differences between the particles and the medium which is dispersed right so the symbol for the density is rho let's assume rho s is the density of the suspended particle so this is the particle which we are placing so which we want to suspend and rho rho o is the density of the dispersing medium this is a medium which is disper dispersing medium right okay so alternatively if if let's say if this is this is some kind of drug particle which is a uh, which is highly and denser than this water what happens so obviously this particle will settle down right this particle will settle down if this this is higher the, this small particle over here if its density is higher than the water density because the density difference is higher it will settle down you know, in this in this particular scenario okay so the velocity or the sedimentation rate the rate at which the particle sediment is directly proportional to the density of the particle minus the density of the medium okay all right and what is the next case any particle or any 
thing that you throw up into the air will has to you know settle down will will reach the ground ultimately right so why because it's gravitational force so let's assume this beaker this given beaker is an is on earth so obviously uh, this particle will, will be affected by gravitational force that means the rate at which the particle sediments is directly proportional to the gravitational force okay and what's the next thing the next thing is the velocity the viscosity the viscosity of the dispersing medium let's assume okay let's assume we have one more one more beaker and let's say this is water we already mentioned that this is water okay this is water and let's assume this is some kind of thick syrupy thick thick liquid very thick liquid that means its viscosity is very very high and its viscosity is less okay so if you drop a particle of similar sizes sizes let's say this is one particle and this is another particle here okay so this is one particle here so this is particle a and this is particle b inside this is b particle okay so if this is water and this is some thick like you know gummy kind of uh, very thick liquid which particle will settle at a faster rate obviously the particle here in water will settle at a faster rate compared to this you know this particle why because here if this this medium is very dense this medium is very dense right this this medium is very dense this medium is very dense obviously obviously it will settle at a, at a slower rate this this medium is very dense so for this particle reach to the bottom if this particle has to reach if this particular particle has to reach the bottom it has to pass through this thick barrier so this barrier act this act this medium acts as a barrier for this particle to settle down but in this particular scenario or here or here this is water and it's not thick and this particle will just settle at a faster rate so that means with increase in the thickness that means with increase in viscosity with increase in this is a symbol for viscosity with increase in viscosity the velocity goes down the velocity of the particle goes down so that means the viscosity of the particle is inversely proportional to the velocity that is in turn the sedimentation rate okay so that is the sedimentation this is the formula for for the sedimentation rate or the stokes theory so v is equal to the diameter square of the particle times the density of the suspended particles the de the difference of the density of the suspended particles minus the density of the dispersing medium okay times the gravitational force as i mentioned earlier obviously the particle it is it is if you if you throw a particle in air it has to settle down that means the gravitational force is acting on that particular particle so obviously here also the same thing is happening the gravitational force is acting for its rate of sedimentation okay so but fortunately the gravitational force is constant on earth it won't change of course uh, the gravitational force will be constant in on the planet too and it's inversely proportional to the viscosity of the medium of the dispersing medium so let's take a look at that step by step now okay let's take a look at the units so viscosity it's we already mentioned the rate at which the particle sediments is nothing but this is a formula so viscosity units for viscosity is because it's traveling some distance centimeter and the time is in seconds okay the diameter of the suspended particle the diameter this is the diameter let's say this is the diameter okay this is the diameter the diameter of the suspended particle so what are the units that could be centimeters right centimeters or micrometers or nanometers whatever you call but however we we can take in centimeters now and what is the next one and the next one is the density of the suspended particle so units for the density are gram per centimeter cube the density okay 
uh, and the same for uh, the density of the medium okay uh, the dispersing medium and the gravitational force obviously the gravitational the acceleration due to gravity you know the units it's centimeter per second square okay because we know gravitational force is nothing but acceleration right the units for acceleration are centimeters per second square acceleration due to gravity is centimeter per second square and the last one is viscosity the units for the viscosity are gram per centimeter per second okay gram per centimeter per second so these are the units alright let's stop here and we'll do a problem in our next video